I'm really feeling alive if I use very basic textbook knowledge to make an impact on application space. What we are trying to do is to make a real artificial neural network hardware so that you can physically carry the supercomputer in your pocket. In the field of artificial intelligence, so far it has been focused on software development. So what our group is trying to do is to make a hardware itself that can be functioning like a human brain. Conventional CMOS can only do binary state, which is zero and one. But human brain does not work that way. Human synapse can store multi-weight inside the human brain. The perfect way to emulate human synapse is to use device, the device called memory cell, where you can generate multi-weight inside one device. So far, community has been working on amorphous memory cell. Amorphous means just random nature. It's really hard to control this any movement inside amorphous material. Here, our group has demonstrated for the first time that single crystalline, silicon, and silicon germanium material can work as the artificial snaps, where we can have a strong control on the ion movement, so then we can have strong control on synaptic weight. Another element of my research is to produce very cheap semiconductor, which used to be very, very expensive. So first step to make an electronic device is to grow electronic device structure on the wafer. And then we peel off this electronic device out of the wafer repeatedly by reusing one expensive semiconductor wafer. In order to peel off this grown electronic devices, you will really need to weaken the interface. We invented a way to do so by putting the monolayer graphene on the single crystalline wafer before performing epitaxial growth of device layer on top. Graphene is so thin that crystalline information of underlying substrate can be transmitted through graphene and then we reuse this substrate on and on, almost like a copy machine. Another benefit is that that device layer is now very thin and flexible, meaning that if you have different types of flexible devices, you can mix and match, you can stack them together to have a multifunctionality of the device. You can interface this flexible semiconductor chip to human body. With this sensitivity of single crystal material, you can sense any types of information from your skin. I would say I'm not a scientist, I'm an engineer. What engineer does is to solve the real world problem. Keep innovating. That's what I and my group are doing.